I read one interesting research paper and today I'd like to share with you what I read. The name of the research paper is a classroom research study on oral error correction which was conducted in Tokyo by Abdullah Koskun and it was published in June 2010. My name is Tatiana and you're watching my YouTube channel Teaching is Fun. The main aim of this study is to present findings of a small-scale classroom research carried out to collect data about spoken error correction behaviors using self-observation method. The writer used a Lister and Rentis model to categorize the types of spoken error correction as explicit correction, recast, clarification request, metalinguistic clues, elicitation and repetition. This study was conducted with a beginner's class. Some English teaching professionals used to say that errors must be avoided during the lesson. But nowadays it is widely recognized that uh, making mistakes during the language is a natural part of second language acquisition and we should encourage our students to communicate in the target language. And what do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. Do you correct all mistakes? Do you agree that making mistakes is a natural part of second language acquisition or not? Now I'd like uh, to read some techniques which I mentioned previously, how they were used during the lessons uh, which were recorded and used for this very research study. So the first one is explicit correction. For example, a student said, there is a little milk in fridge. Teacher makes a pause in order to give students some time to think and correct themselves and then provides the correct sentence in the fridge. Number two is recast. For example, a student says he likes pop music and teacher says yes, he likes pop music. Number three is clarification request. A student says there aren't many hotels in this town the teacher again. Number four, metalinguistic clues. A student says there isn't any books. The teacher makes a pause. There isn't and explanation using L1. Number five, elicitation. A student says there, there are a few books in my library. In my Number six, repetition. A student says, how much money do you have in your pocket? The teacher, pocket. And different student says, pocket. Yes, teacher replies. The classroom research has been conducted in an EFL setting consisting of 30 beginner students in a general English program with special emphasis on grammar teaching. To make students get used to the video camera and behave as naturally as possible, the classroom had been videotaped for more than 10 periods before the transcribed lesson. As for the error correction types, request was the least preferred type to correct both grammar and pronunciation errors while repetition was the most common for both errors. Repetition also seems to lead to successful uptake with two self and two peer corrections. Also, it is stated that switching from English to the native language, Turkish in this case, seems to be an effective way of saving time both while teaching grammar and correcting grammar errors. I found this research study online and I will state the link in the description of the video just in case you would like to read the whole research paper.